need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. QuickBooks allows you to choose when you enter your credit card charges. You can enter credit card charges incrementally as you make charges to the credit card, or you can enter all credit card charges in lump amounts by account once you receive the credit card bill. Your choice depends on whether you enjoy entering information incrementally or all at once. Also, one advantage to entering the charges incrementally as you charge items is that you can keep close track of how much you owe. Another advantage is that if the charge is made for a particular customer job, you can keep track of how much you are spending on that job. Another advantage to recording charges as they are incurred is that you can then reconcile the charges you entered against the credit card bill when it arrives, allowing you to spot errors and non-authorized charges more easily. To enter credit card charges incrementally as they are incurred, select Banking from the menu bar and choose the Enter Credit Card Charges command to display the Enter Credit Card Charges window. Within this window, select the credit card account that was used for the charge from the credit card drop-down menu at the top of the window. To the right of the drop-down, ensure that the Purchase slash Charge option button is selected. Note that you can also record refunds and credits to a credit card account by selecting the Refund slash Credit option button if needed. Next, use the Purchased From drop-down to select the name of the vendor with whom you made the purchase. Then enter the date of the charge into the date field. You can then enter the credit card transaction number into the reference number field. Then enter the amount of the charge into the amount field. Now if desired, you can enter a note about the charge into the memo field. At the bottom of this window, just as when using the Write Checks window, you will then attribute the amount charged to the desired expense account or accounts by selecting an account from the Account column shown on the Expenses tab. The total amount will then appear in the adjacent Amount column. If the charge is for a job, you can select the name of the job from the Customer Job column and set its billing status within the billable column. If you need to split the charge amount between multiple expense accounts, then simply change the amount value shown and then repeat the process in the next available row until you have accounted for the entire charge amount. Also note that if you use this window for purchasing inventory part items or buying services from subcontractors, then you will not enter the charge amount within the amount column at the top of the form. Instead, you would click the items tab at the bottom of the window and then enter the items purchased with the credit card charge, including their quantities and amounts. The sum value of the items purchased will then constitute the total amount of the charge entered into the amount field above. Now once you have entered the credit card charge information, you can then click the Save and Close button to save the transaction and close the window. After you've input the charge, QuickBooks adds the charge amount to the credit card account's register, increasing the total account liability by the charge amount. It will add the same amount to the appropriate expense account once the bill for the credit card is entered and paid. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.